Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Point. Today, people, I want to talk about some of the problems that Red Dead Redemption 2 Online has. For the past few days, I've been playing online and I've been live streaming it. It's been pretty fun for me so far, even though there are some hell of a big problems in the game, and I want to talk about it today. I know people are going to dislike the video or maybe hate me after this, but uh, it's pretty much the truth. I want to show you guys some of the honesty, you know, some of the honest things that have been happening online that I kind of feel like they should be taken away or just fixed or even halved. So one of the first things I want to talk about will be the economy of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have been hearing about this like for the past few days, but uh, it is true. Some of the things in this game are very expensive online and some of them require gold blocks which I really do not understand that why do we need gold blocks for why can't it just be simple currency like the other items so like I wanted to buy this one Mexican hat that's available in the clothing store and I can't buy it because I need eight gold blocks why is it why is it only that one you know why is that only hat eight gold blocks I don't understand this so like it's really bad it's really messed up because this is gonna kind of make you buy shark cards or buffalo cards i'm not even sure what's gonna be the name of but like this gotta be fixed at some point in time because i feel like i'm playing nba 2k nba 2k in the past few years have been increasing their online prices also like in clothing like every time you finish a game of three versus three or even two versus two in uh in street mode they give you very minimal amount of coins for you to purchase stuff even for your stats and everything like they made everything super expensive like you only make like at least one third of the price of whatever object you're trying to buy like it's really bad over there so now they brought this idea over to red dead redemption 2 and i'm over here like why you know why do i have to grind so much but there are several ways you can actually make that money like hunting and going versus like but like the thing is it's very minimal though so uh, it becomes very annoying it becomes a very grindy game which i think they should fix pretty soon they should lower the prices man because they're super expensive so i consider that like very very annoying but uh i'm hoping they do something about it next thing i want to talk about will be the modes in the online mode for red dead redemption 2 all of them are in a big mix which i do not understand i believe back in redemption 1 some of these modes were separated like for example why are team matches mixed with free-for-all it doesn't make any sense i want to play just in case i bring friends over i want to play with my brother online you know i want to be in the same team as he is why do we have to go free-for-all after a while you know why is it always like that like i don't understand it's just separated like by uh team objective games and then separated by team objective games large and then separate the free-for-all and then free-for-all game modes large so that will be like the best um you know way to separate all these modes not too specific though because if you separate it to too specific then of course you're going to be losing some player base from other modes so i'm just asking like just separate them like that to four categories of team and also free-for-all and you should be able to have a good mode going on online but with this mixture of free-for-all and team in the same time like it becomes really annoying because i don't want to play free-for-all i don't like it because the freaking map doesn't react as, as fast as I thought it would. You know, sometimes they'll just pop them up in my map, like like behind me, and I'm like, why didn't you advertise me that it was behind me? You know, why why didn't he tell me that? So, it becomes something very annoying for all. I don't like it at all. So I only like team ob objective game modes, and hopefully they do separate everything. So um, hopefully it will work better like that. So anyways. <clears throat> Talking about the next thing that kind of sucks, also fast travel online, it costs you to go everywhere, like even for your own camp, like it costs you, like if you're like far away from your camp, it will cost you like at least 15 bucks, I'm like why? Freaking fast travel in Red Dead Redemption 1 was actually free and now they're actually making us pay money to fast travel from one point A to point B, which I don't believe it. Like I'm like, bro, I played Redemption 1 and it was for free. I don't know why they did this, but they're trying to squeeze a, a large amount of money from you so you can actually pay for shark cards. It's stupid. So like it costs to do anything in the freaking game. Another thing that I want to talk about is, of course, the weapons of the online mode. They're expensive. I know it goes along with the first category of, you know, everything being expensive, but come on, bros. Like, for the for every single gun, it costs you more than 200 bucks. So this is going to be a long as grind. And for every match that you finish in Versus, it's like five to seven bucks. So it's not that much. It it's going to take you forever. It's going to take you, like, at least eight hours a day to actually unlock a single weapon. Unless you want to play, like, eight hours through the whole week, then... You're going to be unlocking one weapon per, per week, which is currently my situation since that's a, the highest amount I can go, really, like two hours a day. And 
that's it. I move on to another game because because I because I, I get so bored. So uh, it's gonna be a very grindy situation for this game. I don't know why they did this. Um, I kind of wish there was more to it. So um, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Some of the problems with Red Dead Redemption Two. Um, hopefully they do fix it after the beta, but I highly doubt. the The biggest bugs and glitches they're trying to look for are the ones that are kind of like money exploitive. And people are already posting those videos out in the online YouTube. Like, I don't know why they do this. Because once Rockstar gets a hold of those videos, they're going to be like, okay, let's, let's lower the amount of money you get from pigs. Let's lower the amount of money you get from this situation. Like, they're going to they're gonna start looking through all these money exploited videos. And they're going to be like, nope, that's the time, you know, I'm going to lower that money so you can pay for shark cards. So, after the beta, it's going to be even worse. I have a feeling it will. But I, I like the game. I like that you can customize your own character and play in the West and everything. Because I played the first one and I had so much fun. I'm having some kind of fun with this game. It's just that uh, it sucks to know that everything costs so much. It really does. I remember just ranking up and just unlocking weapons for free. And that's it, you know. But hey, we're in this era where we have to pay for almost everything, man. It's, it's really annoying. So that is it, guys. I want to talk about today. Um, you guys got any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints? Leave it in the comment section. If you guys want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 online, make sure you leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys later.